Hello, I'm Kit Watts from the IMEX Group and I'm here today with Ben Irwin, President of PSAB. Um, this year's sponsors of our IMEX Imagination Talking Point Research. Ben, great to talk to you today. Great to be here, I appreciate it. So, you've come on board with our IMEX Imagination Research Report, which will be released to IMEX America later this year. Yep, very excited. What was it about the, the theme or the idea of the report that kind of got you guys involved? Yeah, well, look, I think it's, we're hearing from our customers the need to rethink how they're using meetings and events to connect with audiences. And obviously that you know, creative spark to engage all of us in a room to get a message across is becoming more and more of a you know, subject we're engaging with our customers in. And we thought this was a way to really help the industry think about the role imagination could play in innovation in pushing the industry forward. A couple of years ago, the, the word I remember everywhere was disruption. Everyone yeah. was, we were in disruptive times. Yeah. And then that became the transformation piece, if yeah. you like, which I guess is, is obvious. What kind of uh, imaginative ideas are, people, are your clients coming to you with, or, or what do they typically say when they need your help? Yeah, it's a wonderful conversation because I think people are willing to take more risks and try things. I don't know that people come with an idea of what that needs to be. And so what we're trying to encourage our customers to do is engage earlier so we can have those conversations. There's some incredible technologies out there, a lot around digital tools, engaging audiences, and finding that right solution for that setting. Um, it's becoming an easier conversation to have as people are willing to take more risks to try to find different ways to engage their audiences. And are your clients typically saying, I want memory making, I want more experiential? What kind of language are they using yeah, nowadays I, to buy imagination? I, I think experiential is the popular phrase where what they want is kind of the feel of where they're having their meeting. So how do you bring that personality of we're in Frankfurt today? How do you bring Frankfurt into the meeting? Um, but using technology to do that in a way that makes an impression. So we're not all looking at our phones or looking at our computers, uh, but we're actually engaged in the message that's coming across. One of the reasons we chose imagination is because we're, we're the only species on Earth, as far as we know, that has yeah. this capacity for imagination. Yeah. Can you tell me about a couple of examples of things, really imaginative um, yeah. activations you've seen recently yeah. in your clients? No, it's great. Uh, we just had one of our bigger events uh, last week at the Adobe Summit in London, which is Adobe's biggest European meeting and event, about 5,000 attendees. And each year they're trying to push how can they engage their attendees in bringing to life kind of the feel of Adobe and some of the energy around that. And so using actually human movement to change colors, change designs, change the layout of a room uh, with some, you know, obviously advanced technologies, but really allowing people to put their personality with senses into the environment. We're also working with Amazon, Amazon Web Services to bring Alexa into their meetings. So our digital teams, our creative teams are actually taking their products and transferring their products into that meeting space so that they're using their technologies in meetings and events, working with our team to try to bring it to life. I'd love to have some of this movement activated stuff at yeah. America in, uh, yeah, it's, later it's in the fall. That it's sounds incredibly, amazing. It's incredibly cool. And, and to watch people's faces light up as they're able to change, you know, light, color, smell, sense in a room and, and, and layout has been really interesting. How much are you finding your clients also want a connection with nature or the outdoors? Obviously, you talked about the tech and, and you know, everyone's always walking around with glow face. I yeah, learned the, te yeah. the term glow face yeah, the other day. Exactly. Um, is that part of what they're also looking for and coming to you for? Yeah, you know what I think it is, it is, but it's um, around sustainability. And I think it's also around kind of what are we doing when we're in these wonderful cities for that local environment, for that local city. And so whether it's, you know, environmental concerns or just kind of community outreach in those markets, that's becoming a bigger part of how we're using our time in meetings and events. Great. So we're at a point, you and I talking today, where we've just begun to do the research exercise. So it yeah. sounds like we really need to give people some, some practical tips and some really good meat on the bones when we do the research so they, they can sort of follow and, and take some lead from our, our mutual content. Yeah. Look, I think we all learn from each other. It's one yeah. of the wonderful things about IMAX and being here. And I think being able to be specific on you know how our peers are using these things will be really important. Great. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. To meet you. I appreciate it.